This is the Fiace B13, low profile m lock bipod. We're going to take a look at what you get in the box and then take it out to the range and test it out on this episode of Moondog Industries. Alright, let's see what you get in the box here. We have our hairstyle bipod. We have an Allen wrench and two M-lock screws and T-bolts. And we have a manual in English, so definitely read your manual if you don't know how to use a Harris-style bipod or install one. Alright, let's take a look at these. So yeah, very much a Harris-style bipod uh, minus the um, sling, swivel sling adapter. It, this attaches directly onto your M-lock slots. You just uh, rotate these T-nuts into position so they slide into your slots and then you cinch them down with the Allen wrench. Uh, you just yeah, tighten these down with your Allen wrench once you get in the slots and that should tighten everything up. And this, you can also use this to tighten up any loose screws. Also, you can use this to tighten up your leg locking mechanism. Let's see if these pop out like Harris style. Yep, there we go, yeah, just like hairstyle pods. It has notches in the leg so you can adjust the height. And these springs are the ones that pop it out. And it also has spring-loaded legs, yep. Just like hairstyle bipod, and there's your Feiyachi logo. No logo on the other side. All right, so pretty much standard. We'll take it out to the range and see how well, how steady it is. We're at the San Mateo Sheriff's range. I've set up a target and we're going to walk back to our shooting bench at 100 yards. And while I do that, do me a favor and hit that like button, the bell icon, and the subscribe button. It helps this channel and all of us because it prompts the AI to share this content with other firearms and tactical enthusiasts. Because the B14 mounts directly to your M-Lock handguard, it gives it a much more low-profile look than your typical Harris-style bipod, like this one, which attaches via a sling swivel adapter. In terms of ease of deployment, it's a copy of a Harris bipod. It's got spring-loaded legs and rubber feet. Telescope, the legs stayed locked out even under impact and pressing down with my weight. The spring-loaded legs allow you to depress your position by pulling backwards, but are stiff when pushed forwards. Stowage is just as simple. You release the lock on the telescoping feet and fold them forward. Deployed, the legs have notches on them about a half an inch apart, allowing you to adjust the height of the legs. There is no friction lock allowing you to fine-tune between notches. I chose the Ruger Precision Rimfire for the testing platform today because shooting 22s at 100 yards really requires a really stable and consistent shooting platform. Alright, I'm going to go for dead center. For this setup, I found that I needed pretty much the full length of the 6 to 9 inch adjustable legs. Now on some cheap bipods, uh, when fully extended, the legs feel kind of wobbly and, uh, you know, cheap. These surprisingly did not, even though, you know, these are essentially Harris knockoffs. My impressions so far are pretty positive. The bipod is very stiff and stable, very returnable. There's no wobble or flex. Now that's probably due to the way it's designed to clamp directly onto your handguard. So it really does require an AR style octagonal or trapezoidal shaped handguard. Because of the way the base of the bipod is angled, this may not fit onto some chassis, which may have M-lock slots, but maybe too broad and flat. Aside from compatibility issues, the way it attaches to your handguard can also be an issue for some shooters. As I mentioned, it clamps on directly and feels very stiff and rigid. Whereas traditional Harris style bipods which attach via sling stud or an adapter have some measure of twist and play allowing you to cant your rifle along the horizontal axis. Then again, some bench rest shooters don't want their bipods to cant and would prefer the B13's direct attach design, so it's personal preference. 
Now, I want to thank Fiachi for sending this out for me to evaluate, and I will have this on this rifle for a bit to do some long-term testing. Speaking of testing, if you liked this review and you'd be interested in seeing my reviews of things other than guns and ammo, I have another channel, Moondog R&D. That's where I review electronics, accessories, home gadgets, and other things geek-related. So please, check it out. For all you gun folks out there, pardon this rather pedantic disclaimer. This is for the benefit of YouTube staff. Now, YouTube reviews all videos and oftentimes demonetizes firearms related content because they miscategorize items as gun modifications. And I just want to point out this is a bipod, which is not an illegal modification. It's an accessory for firearms for target shooting uh, to provide um, a stable um, rest for your rifle so that you can aim it properly. Properly. And while to the uninitiated and uninformed, this may make this rifle look like some sort of scary machine gun, I can assure you it does not change this bolt action rifle into some sort of automatic weapon. It does have folding legs, but that isn't to make it more concealable. Putting a folding bipod on a 16 inch long barrel does not make it easier to hide. It is simply to make it easier to store and transport from your home to the rifle range where we filmed this episode. So I hope this explanation made this clear and and uh, to any staffer or intern over at YouTube who's reviewing this, leave me a comment. I'd love to discuss this further, but when I send an email to YouTube, I get ghosted. Getting back to the bipod. Some may have issues with the fact that this is coming from Fiachi, you know, yet another Chinese company making a knockoff Harris bipod. I'm not sponsored by them, so I have no skin in this game. Would Fiachi make a knockoff? Well, look at their logo. You tell me. Leave me a comment. Yet, despite my doubts about the quality and durability of this bipod, I was pleasantly surprised at how well it was built and how it performed. I mean, this it felt solid. I banged it up, nothing fell off, nothing broke loose. Granted, this is a 22 and not a 300 Win Mag. For 99% of you out there who are just going to be mounting this on an AR and taking it to the range, this is, this is good enough. And for the 1% of you out there who are seriously interested in precision long-range shooting and are looking for a high-quality bipod, why are you watching a Fiachi bipod video? Well, leave me a comment. And for everybody watching this video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching it. And thank you for your support by hitting that like button, that subscribe button, and the bell button. If you're interested in picking up one of these bipods, uh, I'll include a link in the video description as well as on my blog, MoondogIndustries.com, where you can find all of my videos. Thanks again for watching. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.